Well, at the desk with me now to unpack Emira Property Fund's first half numbers is company CEO James Templeton. Always good to have you, James. Thank you, good. nice to see you. A fantastic uh, set of results that you've uh, obviously published and uh, one that uh, obviously uh, does uh, set quite a precedent when it comes to the property sector. But overall, I'm sure you're very happy with the results. Absolutely, Gugu. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're very, very happy. Uh, the 9% growth in distributions per share is the highest we've shown since 2009. Uh, so the upward trajectory in earnings continues. And most importantly, I think what's very nice to see is the net asset value of the fund grew by 14% to 16.50, uh, reflecting the fact that property values are increasing and the work that we've been doing is, is coming through. Mm. Are you hoping to keep this distribution sustainable? 9% is significantly high. Absolutely, Gugu, yeah. We, we, we said in August last year after our June results that we believed we could show real growth in distributions plus a bit of a tweak for a distribution policy change relating to depreciation. So we were expecting 8 to 8.5% 8 for the full year. We've delivered 9 for the interim. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe we can maintain the 9 for the 12 months to June this year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get into some of your segments, uh, office space versus uh, industrial as well as retail. Office, I understand there are several concerns when it comes to the industry overall. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it comes down to office vacancies. Mm -hmm. uh, according to the uh, SAPOA, office vacancies sit at 11.1% at the moment. The level of supply in the office market is in, in, in excess of 4% of the current supply. Uh, so vacancies are forecast to uh, remain flat at, at, at best. Uh, our vacancies are below 8%. They've come down significantly over the past few years. So I think w what I want to say is in a, in a very tough office market, we've done extremely well. Mm. Just on that, are you looking to uh, do more acquisitions there or actually scale back on some of the assets that you have there? Because you have m highlighted in your results that you're looking to uh, dispose of some assets. Yeah, look, l last year was a very good year. When, when we saw you in August, we'd done uh, 1.6 billion rands worth of acquisitions. The acquisition market is competitive and prices are high and they're going to get even higher with interest rates remaining uh, so low. Um, the uh, the low-hanging fruit for Amira is the CapEx projects within our portfolio and we've got a pipeline of an excess of three billion, uh, some significant projects, high quality office buildings, great retail assets that we're going to expand on. Mm -hmm. uh, so the low-hanging fruit is in the CapEx projects and the proceeds from the disposals will either be in acquisitions if we find any, uh, the CapEx projects in the existing portfolio, or worst case scenario, we'll pay back debt uh, to use at some later stage. I would think that acquisitions will be the easiest part, especially given the uh, number of funds we saw listing just last year. I think that's, I mean, that's exactly the point. All those listed funds means that there's a lot of people chasing new assets mm -hmm. and that's what makes it so competitive. Mm. On the retail front, are things also managing to uh, perform quite strongly? Retail was actually the best performance uh, in, in the six months. Uh, rental reversions in the retail portfolio grew by 6.5% uh, compared to uh, tough conditions in the industrial and the office market. So retail was actually very strong and uh, was the best performer during the period. So uh, I guess what you can see is that although consumer spending has slowed down, uh, the centres that we own have been doing well. Uh, and Vaughan Park Shopping Centre, which is our biggest asset mm -hmm. at one and a half billion rand, uh, performed exceptionally well. Turnover was up 20% in December, admittedly with the benefit of the extensions that we've given that centre in the past two years. Two questions. How is the power crisis impacting on uh, some of your clients, uh, the tenants in particular, and you've also got quite a strong rate of retaining those tenants. Uh, what are you doing right with in that regard? Yeah, I think uh, absolutely the power crisis is, is literally that as a crisis. At, at Vaughan Park Shopping Centre in Pretoria, we had numerous days down uh, in December, in mm. January, uh, at times which were inopportune. Uh, and the, the, the view from the council in Pretoria was obviously you've got a shopping centre which is 90,000 square metres and if you can shed the load on the shopping centre or you shed the load on all the houses, well the shopping centre will be less impacted uh, rather than load shedding all the houses. So that was the view they took uh, and uh, yeah, it hurt us badly, trade was badly impacted. Uh, we are going to be spending 18 million rand on investing in new generators for the asset, mm. which will take uh, the, the risk out of it that if there's load shedding, we can operate the centre completely without uh, e uh, electricity from outside sources. We'll generate it all ourselves through, through generators. Is that a programme that you're looking to implement across the board, office as well as industrial? Uh, I think across key assets, absolutely. You know, tenants will often uh, request generators for which we will have to invest the money for which we need some sort of return from them. So on an asset by asset basis, but certainly on key assets that we have such as Warner Park, we would definitely consider spending that money. Yeah.
just to close off with your relationship with Redefine, the mm. priority interest mm. that they have mm. in your business. Mm. Sure, absolutely. They took a, a big slug of Amira at 13.6 percent in the in the second half of 2014. Uh, we've been to see Redefine and Mark Wainer several times. Uh, we treat him as a big shareholder. Uh, he, he has stated his strategy with respect to Amira, which has been widely disseminated, and he said that in several meetings. So we treat him as any big shareholder. Nonetheless, they are a competitor of ours, so we yeah. don't tell them the intimate secrets. Uh, but they took part in a capital raising that we did in the second half of last year. Uh, we will see them as we will see any major shareholder in, the, in, in February and in March. So yeah, the relationship is good and uh, we, uh, we like the fact that people think that we offer value. So that's a good sign in my opinion.